I was adopted at the age of six. It took a year to get me because of the paperwork. Romania is really hard when it comes to dealing with the adoption agency um, because they've dealt with bigger problems and now they're more secure about who they'll let out of the country and who will they let in the country. When my mom came and tried to pick me up, she did have to stay there for a complete week. They had to see how I reacted with her. They had to see if I felt comfortable. And then after she even did adopt me, we came back to America. Every month, she'd have to send a picture and my, you know, how I'm doing. If I'm healthy, you know, she had to go to the doctor every month just to see my progress. The reason I chose social work was because I realized I first went to the pep leader group with the education. I love the teaching side, but I realized that I like, you know, helping more than I like the teaching. I want to help people who are struggling in life, you know, just dealing with problems. And social work, I realized that you can basically do anything with that field. Also, it's, it's so rewarding. I'm not going in for the money. I'm going in to see the lives change. And my goal is to get up in a much higher position, maybe with the government or maybe a superintendent at a school to actually make a difference within the schools and within basically people's lives. I say in SGA, I want to know what's going on around the campus. I'm in undergraduate alumni council, so I know what who, the people that have left and what changes they've made in this school. Not only that, I am now becoming a pep leader, so I get to kind of influence and make great things happen with these new students that they don't know that the potential they have. Um, just some other small things. Honor Society, I'm doing the Honor Society because I want to know where everybody is. Really smart ones can help other people that might be struggling and I want to have those connections to be able to provide that answers. And then um, my biggest thing is I go around and talk to teachers. I love to just randomly, I'll go find a teacher and just start talking and get to know their, you know their story and at the same time what they have to provide so then I can use that to pass on to students or use that in my personal life and start building myself. Tanya Brown, she is my, she, she's actually was brand new, first uh, semester teaching at Social Work 220, which is a human diversity group. She really enjoyed doing group conversations where we really got emotional, we really got in touch with our feelings. Not only that, but we really hit hardcore points on what's happening in life. She, after taking her class and seeing how much she loved it and how she loved to talk about it and how she wanted people to interact, it made me look for that and then more and more I started seeing I'm that kind of person so then that's encouraged me to follow more in the social work. Now that I've been in it, I can't think of anything I would want to change.